coming back from the pasture putting Daisy out. So now we're going to break down. First thing that I'm going to do is remove the milk bucket. And I bring it over here to a designated area. Next thing I'm going to do is make sure I'm getting all the debris. And I find if we keep things clean, it makes it a lot easier. It's not like we're having to do big cleanups all the time. In our new building, we're going to have a concrete floor. We're going to have a concrete stanchion situation. It's going to really work much better for ourselves. But, as you can see by our numbers, even people who have a small operation are milking a family dairy cow in this type of fashion can really benefit from a good SSOP and meticulous cleaning even with a wood stanchion. This mat also is important because with it being winter, sometimes it gets slippery. And we noticed a couple of times she was slipping. So we added this in and we haven't had an issue since. If she gets in a position where she has slipped, how am I going to get her up? So that's nice and sweet. We have our caddy. That goes back. These are our towels. Those go there. Here's our dirty towels. I'm going to put those right here in my pocket to go back up to the house. I'll return this to its area, but I'll leave it here for right now. I'm going to cover my machine. It helps with having to deep clean it and dust it. It really helps maintain your machine if you keep it clean. I've been to a couple of places their friends farms and stuff and their machine just looks you can't even tell what color it was and I tell you what it's not gonna work and it's not gonna last as long for you if you don't cover it up and take care of it so that's pretty much it I'm gonna head up to the house now and I'll show you our processing